Good morning everyone. It's day two here from Samana and today we're going to be doing the activity which is the reason why we came here which is going to be a boat tour that is $65 per person and we're going to be going to a park called Los Aitisis and after that we're going to head to an island called Cayo Levantado and we're really looking forward to this because it looks absolutely incredible in the photos and we're on the pier right here so at 9 a.m. the boat is going to leave from here <laughs> Bahia de San Lorenzo and this is one of the reasons that we wanted to come here so all of these are like limestone rocks mixed with jungle yeah, and the whole coast is like that all the way down I, th I think he even said there's dolphins here yeah but we, we couldn't see but he said you can find some yeah yeah this place is like southeast Asia. yeah it's another reason why we why we came yeah it really does look like Southeast Asia out here. So we didn't know much about this part of the tour, so had no idea that there'd be this mangrove area. And apparently we're gonna go and explore a cave now, so that's awesome too. Thank you. Yeah, I thought we was gonna get in one of these. Maybe we do still. I don't see where you go with this. Yeah, I'm not there's sure no, either. There's no river. Wow, look at this place though. Mi gente querido, ¿cuántas personas hablan español? Levantan la mano. Los que hablan español. Yeah, so it's really cool. We're doing like a little jungle trail to the cave. And this area here is like it's like a swamp. Creepy swamp. <laughs> yeah, I think the cave's down here somewhere. out there's a huge hole in the top of the cave looks awesome and I think now we're gonna go deep into the cave the dark part here it says there's some pictographias like petroglyphs something I don't know but yeah you should be able to see these designs around here from the locals I don't see any though do you care no, not yet, not yet.
so it was kind of dark in there but yeah we used Car Carol's proper camera so hopefully we got some good shots still well it's pretty much pitch black I think now we're going to another cave they said right yeah but I think we need to get the Potomara first and head to the cave okay back on the boat it is um Oh, look at this part. So this is stop number two for the cave and this one we have this beautiful little beach here. Me and Kyle were saying in Southeast Asia it actually reminds us more of Vietnam because I know over there in the base you get the more like murky greenish water. Sabana de la Mar, bienvenidos. So this one is called Cueva la Arena. Yeah, so in this cave we get the window to the ocean this time, not to the jungle. And then inside it's like a beach. Check this out. Got a sandy ground. <laughs> so completely different to the last cave. Another window. Yeah. A window to another cave. Yeah. Yeah, we've been in a few caves before, but not like these, right? No, not like in a, on a beach or something. Yeah, Different. beach cave. <laughs> So that's it for Paki Los Aitizis and now we're going to head to the beautiful tropical island where we're going to have lunch and we should be able to relax there for a few hours. Hey Carol, I, I was saying before it's a bit more like Vietnam, the color of the ocean. Yeah, because it's green and not, not blue like in the Philippines. Yeah, it's like a murky brown color. Vietnam's like that. Looks like people on the other tours are having lunch here. So this would be a cool spot to have lunch. But the beach we're going to is way nicer, yeah, I think. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited as well. arrived on the paradise island, Cayo Levantado. Beautiful beaches all around here. You hungry? 
-huh. I bet I end up eating fish again. Yeah, I think they, they have fish or chicken, but yeah, we'll, we'll eat fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got some cool paintings. So this is the main beach that we could see in the pictures when you when you search this place. We'll be heading there later on. So there's loads of like fruit shacks, restaurants all over the place. We don't get to choose though, I think we've got to eat at this one here. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. okay, so as expected, the food looks good. The feast. Pretty awesome Caribbean style dish. Got the fish, got some pineapples, fried plantains, veggies, rice. The rice has some other stuff in there as well, I'm not sure what. You got the same as me, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Looks good. Where do we sit? Somewhere in the shade. Maybe over there. Over that way? Yeah. Wow, look at this beach though. That is what I call a Caribbean style beach. So we got about two hours here. First the guy was like an hour and 15 minutes. Then he said an hour and 30 minutes. And then he said two hours. So I was like, that's, that's fine by me. Keep increasing that time. The beach is way bigger than I thought as well in the pictures. I couldn't tell the island was this big. So the island's a lot bigger than I thought as well. So loads of space here. Definitely the nicest beach in the Dominican so far. Yeah, so far. On this trip. I've seen a beach without a lot of sargasso and with this clear water. It's awesome. Some of the others would have probably looked like this, but we had the seaweed issue. This beach faces uh, west, so usually the beaches faced in east are the ones that get hit really hard by sargassum. So. Yeah, I think that's what we got to look out for as well when we head to the beaches. Not go to any that face east. There are other beaches though. We passed one on the way on the side and then I think there's one at the back. So yeah, we'll fly over there, but we're just going to stick around on this one. to the opposite side of the beach now not much difference kind of looks the same everywhere but on the drone I just saw there's a huge stretch of clear blue on this side so yeah we thought we'd check it out we had no idea it was this big right no well because I think most of the pictures were like a drone picture and 
I guess we couldn't have an idea of how big it was. There's loads of people here, but yeah, everyone's just spread out because it's so big. So if you just want to come to this beach here, you don't have to do the tour that we did that also went to Los Hayatises. You can just get the boat from Samana straight to here. I think they have multiple boats every day. And it's also really close. I can actually see Samana in the distance here. So looks like it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes. And how much did you say that was? Um, I, I think I saw some companies offering like a $35 boat trip, others offering more like 38, 40. I guess it depends, but uh, I guess it was. Uh, with food included as well. Oh, so that's like with food. Yeah, with food included and it's like a whole day uh, trip. Uh, okay, but I guess even if you don't want food included, you could just get a different price even cheaper and then just buy food here. Or bring your own food, right, if you want to do it cheaper. But yeah, you've obviously got to come here. Even if you visit in the entire peninsula, I'd come here. There was groups that came from Las Galeras in the morning, but it's not that far as well. It's only like 40 minutes away. That's where we stayed uh, previously. So you could even just come from the other regions and then do the trip and then go back later on. Everything's quite close here. time's pretty much up now we just thought we'd check out one of the beaches at the side nobody really hangs out here look just a deserted beach yeah so nobody cleans it up either but yeah still pretty beautiful beach nobody here at all and then there was another beach back there which looks really cool as well there's like an island at the end i think that's our boat there right yeah and nobody there nobody there so yeah, that's the funny thing when you do these group tours. People are always late, right? We're always on time, but... Only people are late, like in the beginning of the tour. We had to wait for like 40 minutes for someone else who was coming. But yeah, that's uh, that's how it is when you, got, you can't do a private tour. Yeah, at the beginning it was funny. Our boat left and then there'll be somebody running on the pier like, Hey, wait for me. And then it went back. And then the same thing happened again. It left again. And then another guy was like, wait for me. And then it came back, so like Carol said, it was like a 40 minute delay. No tenemos que nadar a autobuses. Un aplauso para capitanes de nuevo. Hasta la próxima. See you next time. Okay, thank you very much. So that was an awesome boat tour and an awesome day. Easily one of the best days that we've had here. Maybe the best day. What do you think? Yes, I think today was my favorite day because I, I guess not just the island boat but also the high tea this part something different from what we've seen the Caribbean before yeah and also the fact that the beach didn't have sargassum made it much better and tomorrow we're gonna be heading to a place called Las Terenas which is gonna be the last town that we visit in this peninsula so yeah we're gonna head there in the morning and there'll be some videos coming from there as always just drop a like on the video to support us subscribe to like to see more videos like this follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one